Okay, just want to do a very quick add-on to this the uh, study I did on the thing of the one religion for the world, coming Roman Catholic takeover. Uh, something the Lord kind of revealed to me this morning. I was talking, you know, in the, this morning with my wife, and we were just discussing different things, ministry related, and pretty much all we discuss really. <laughs> and uh, and we got to talking about this thing of Roman Catholic takeover and everything else, and how we just see Roman Catholicism just springing up all over the place, and so much is controlled by them. You didn't even, you know, didn't even realize it. I mean, I didn't know these things years and years ago, but. The, the thought came to me here in uh, Revelation chapter 10, um, excuse me, Revelation chapter 10, um, verse 7, But in the days of the voice of the seventh angel, when he shall begin to sound, the mystery of God should be finished, as he hath declared to his servants the prophets. Uh, that's a very significant verse. I've talked about this numerous times throughout my studies that I do. Um, there aren't going to be any atheists in the time of Jacob's trouble. Why? That verse right there. The mystery of God is finished. Right now, they, they say, oh, prove that God exists. Prove that he exists. Well, I can't prove it physically right now. I can't prove, I can't say, hey, God's right over there. Check out, you know, no, I can't do that. Um, but that will happen in the time of Jacob's trouble. Uh, the Bible is going to be verified completely in that time. Now, who teaches the if you go to the average person in the world and you say who gave us the Bible they'll say the Catholic Church so again another great way to prove that the Catholic Church is going to be the only religion in the end times is the fact that the Bible itself is going to be verified so people are going to look at the holy scriptures of other you know systems out there and they're going to go this stuff's a lie we can prove the Bible's true and the news media will say and the Catholic Church gave us the Bible see so, you know, it's important that we all become Catholic again. So another actual, real, very, very strong proof that I didn't even think about from my study is the very fact that the Bible itself is going to verify that Christianity is the real, true faith. Unfortunately, you talk to most people, they think Christianity is Roman Catholicism. So again, another way to prove the fact that I believe that this one religion that's coming is going to be radical Roman Catholicism and you're going to have forcible conversion over to that so it's really something and you know I don't know if I really made a real good point of this in my study but you know really our legacy that we need to leave behind is, as Bible believing Christians is that we are very much against Roman Catholicism uh, I, I don't hate Roman Catholic people at all I need to make that point very clear. I'd love to see Roman Catholics get saved. I think it's it's great. Uh, they're some of the favorite my favorite people to see saved. Um, but I'm very very vehemently against Roman Catholicism as the system. And I want to leave a legacy behind when the rapture happens. I want people to see my videos and my ministry and understand that I plainly, flat out say, Roman Catholicism is not. Christianity from the Bible. They've stolen the term Christian and applied it to their pagan system. Uh, Roman Catholicism is not the faith that Jesus Christ gave to the world. Um, it isn't at all. And I'm, I want to just um, admonish, um, or maybe I should say exhort would be probably a better way to say it. I'd like to exhort my brothers and sisters in Christ out there, um, do something to expose Roman Catholicism because that's the system that's coming in. Um, I'm not going to spend a lot of time or energy going after Buddhism or, or Islam or things like that because those systems are going to die. Those systems are going to be gone in probably a couple years and it's going to be Roman Catholicism. So uh, that's what our legacy should be as Bible believing Christians. So just an interesting thought and um, I Certainly love to hear from all of you with your different thoughts and things, different ideas. And um, I am certainly never going to take a position of, you know, being a Bible-believing pope or something like this. And you know, where I just say I'm this is the way it is, and I'm not listening to anybody. I mean, if there had been some good arguments from Scripture uh, saying that there are more, there's multiple religions uh, in the end times, I I would change my statements. 
but all I see is one. And I know a lot of you said, yeah, I was starting to think the same way. Yeah, the Holy Spirit will um, he'll bear witness. Our spirits are going to bear witness together and say, okay, yeah, I think that that's what's going to happen. You know, and I will say this, there was some objection. People said, well, you know, the Bible says about, um, and you know, see what the passage is here. I have my Bible in front of me. I always get first Timothy chapter four. Okay, it's first Timothy chapter four. First and second Timothy. I always get those two confused. But uh, they said uh, first Timothy chapter four. Actually, I'll go to it here on the screen. It's a sword searcher. I'm trying to do too many things at once here. First Timothy chapter four. Now the spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. And they said, see, doctrines, plural, that means more than one religion. Ah, uh, that's stretching it. Okay. Um, speaking lies and hypocrisy, having their conscience here with a hot iron, forbidding to marry, commanding to abstain from meat. These are the doctrines of devils. They're listed. It's not, uh, you know, and, and since when do we call them different doctrines? We call them different denominations. Protestant, Catholic, you know, and then within Protestantism, they have all the different ones there. And even within Catholicism, there's pre-Vatican II, you have the more modern, more liberal, more the Latin, right? The, you know, all this other stuff. Um, those aren't doctrines. Okay, so to say, you know, to call Islam a doctrine and, and you know, and you see what their beliefs, again, you're not getting that from that text. Okay, so I have to respectfully disagree with that. Um, that scripture doesn't overthrow the other ones that we looked at where there's one man showing up and um, the whole world's worshiping the beast and the woman rides the beast so it's clearly Roman Catholicism and the fact that the Bible is going to be coming literally true right in front of people's faces most people are going to turn to Roman Catholicism as the ones that gave us the Bible so just another way to prove that theory is in fact correct um, so let's focus our energies on getting truth out about the Roman Catholic system. And um, I guess that's it for now. Thank you for watching.